today with the Train 300 Flow Through Bypass Humidifier. Terrific humidifier, it's very reliable, requires very little maintenance, and is very easy to replace the pad on when required. The cover for the Train 300 uh, Flow Through Humidifier is very easy to release. There's a tab on the bottom as well as a tab on the top. Once you depress those, the covers just come straight off. Once the cover is off of the flow through humidifier, you can see all of the components. We have the feeder tube that provides water to the evaporator pad. We have the distributor tray up top as well as the whole frame. And then we have the evaporator pad inside. It's the evaporator pad that requires changing and maintenance in cycles between one and three years. On the Train 300, bypass flow through humidifier, we have a damper that's built into the unit. Most humidifiers have a damper built into the unit and there's some confusion as to what the damper is for and how it should be set. It's not very important in our northern Alberta climate to have the damper ever closed. The reason for the damper and to close it, if you were in a very very warm climate and had a long air conditioning season, it increases the efficiency slightly of your air conditioner to have that closed off. If you have no air conditioner, there's no benefit whatsoever to turning that off during the summer months. Leaving it open like so will allow proper airflow to come through that's forced through your furnace. That airflow from your furnace comes through goes into the wetted evaporator pad, humidifying the air going through it, and then that humidified air is circulated with your furnace fan throughout the home. 